Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to print diamond pattern. So before we jump into the program, let's try to analyze the pattern. So you can see the diamond pattern is actually combination of upper triangle and lower triangle, right? So if we divide the diamond pattern into the two parts, then upper triangle, we already did the program to print the upper triangle. We also did the program to print the lower triangle. We just need to combine both the program and then we have to remove the one extra row. So first of all, let's try to take the upper triangle pattern. So we did the program in the previous video to print the upper triangle. And this is the code to print the upper triangle. So let me just copy paste. So this will give you the upper triangle, right? So if I'll run this program, then you will get the upper triangle into the output. Let's try to copy the code to print the lower triangle. So here is a code to print the lower triangle. Now I can just combine this program with this program, right? And let's try to run this program and let's see what we are getting in the output. So you can see we are getting the diamond pattern, but we are getting one row extra, phi upper triangle, phi lower triangle. So we need to remove this row. So what we can do, we can just execute upper triangle only for four times. Let's try to run this program and you can see now we are getting the full diamond pattern. So you can execute the upper triangle for the four times or you can execute the lower triangle for the four times. So you will get the full diamond pattern. We can also solve this program in a usual way. Find out the relation between i, space and star. But we already did into the previous videos. So I'm not repeating that logic here. I'm just reutilizing. Perfect. So this was the last video from the pattern series. And what is the benefit of writing this kind of a pattern program? Are we getting the requirement in real life job to print this kind of a pattern? No, right. So what is the benefit of writing this program? So the benefit of writing this program is to get more clarity on how for loop works. We can exercise on how to find the relation between two for loop. We can understand how nested for loop works. We can understand how to write down the condition for the for loop. So this is the fundamental logic and it will help you into the real time job, right? Whenever you are getting any kind of a problem in real time, if you did this kind of a exercise, it will help you to analyze your thought process and build your logic. After that, you will feel confident while working with the for loop. Perfect. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. Thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video.